Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a crazy scenario when it comes to the diabolic drive. And for people that don't know, this is a bad USB that disguises itself as a regular USB. It behaves like a regular USB and it lies dormant and until you connect to it over via Wi-Fi and you could send payloads and then go back to lying dormant and disguising itself like a regular flash drive. So in this video, what we're going to do is make a real world scenario and this is probably going to be one of the scariest scenarios that i'm going to talk about on this channel because this is real and this is out there and it's really good to be aware so in this video this is an ethical video i'm only showing you this stuff because i want you guys to be aware and that's the whole point of this channel is spreading awareness and learning of what's out there to help better protect yourself and others so to start off, this is a regular Kingston flash drive. This is, this is the diabolic drive. This is the bad device. This is just a normal standard storage device. This is a Kingston drive, there it is. This is the casing for it, Kingston. 64 gigs. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna plug this guy into the computer. Okay. Kingston, yep. So, to prove, this is a regular flash drive, we're going right here. I put in a couple of documents in this video, so I made, I put my projects, I just did a text document to save on here so you can see it. It says test, um, then I took a screenshot of something random, I even, I forget what I did. Oh yeah, just a really random screenshot, so you got an image in there, and I got a text document in there. So what we're going to do, so here's the scenario we're going to paint here, is that you're in the office, and there's somebody in there that's doing penetration testing and ethical hacking. And you get up to go to the bathroom or the person gets up and goes to the bathroom and they leave the computer like this, leaving their flash drive in and uh, they left everything open and they walk away, which happens 90% of the time out there. Unfortunately, people do not lock the computer when they get up from their seat. Most of them do just leave everything open for somebody or anybody to grab and mess with. So in this scenario, we're going to take this flash drive. We're going to clone it onto this diabolic drive. Let me show you how. Again, just the, for, for your reference, we have two files on this normal flash drive. And it's labeled Kingston D. So watch this. So the penetration tester or the ethical hacker, they will take steal the device, take it. Now, depending on how much time you have, either A, you take this home with you and or you take this somewhere with you where you can do this exchange or you have a, do this really fast uh, with your secondary computer. I want to be using this computer just because I don't have a secondary computer to, to show you the test, but this is how the scenario will work. So you're going to be taking this apart. All right, here they are taken apart. The black one over here is the diabolic drive. This is the normal Kingston one. So, I mean, you can see there's a lot more going on with the diabolic drive, but who's going to take it apart? Like, who's going to know to do that, take it apart, and say, hey, this looks a little suspicious? It'd be very, very rare. All right, I made the swap. So, now this is the diabolic drive. This is the one that is bad, and this is was the normal Kingston flash drive. So, we can get rid of this guy now. This is the diabolic drive now. It's disguised in the shell of the Kingston drive. Now, how does this work? So on our other computer, we copied everything from the original Kingston drive and we put it on our diabolic drive. So this is what it looks like. So we're going here. There's the two documents. I moved them so you can see it's a little different right now, but this is my projects and screenshot. And then it's labeled Kingston D. So with that said, you the person would get up, come back, and they wouldn't know the difference between their old flash drive and the flash drive that you replaced it with. Um, how is this dangerous? Well, let me tell you what it can do. So I am currently connected to the diabolic drive uh, using a Wi-Fi connection. So I'm going to be sending a payload to show you what you can do. Now this is going to be just a Rick roll. Um, this is just to show you the actual vulnerability and all this. Now the user has no idea their flash drive has been swapped out and it only took me a couple of minutes. Now, if you had a computer ready to go and you clone their flash drive that fast, they, you can do the same thing. Or if you needed more time, you grab it, come back another day. Oh, they lost their flash USB drive. I wonder where it is. And then you put it back on their desk in the morning. Oh, there it is. I must have misplaced it. So again, this is a social engineering uh, scenario. But nevertheless, here's the flash drive. This is the same documents, right? The original flash drive is over here. Over here. 
again, we don't need that anymore. So nevertheless, let's show you what happens. So now it's lying dormant and not today or tomorrow, it depends on when you want access to the computer. You go ahead and connect it and we're gonna run a payload. So right now, not touching anything, it's being Rick rolled. I'm literally sending a payload to this device to here. And I can edit this on the fly. Uh, you could you can customize your payloads on the go. And this is the this is the vulnerability of leaving your computer unattended. You could have your USB stolen. They could swap it out with a diabolic drive, and now they, they have full access to the computer whenever they want. So now we're done with that. We're gonna stop, right? So let's go back to a back, now it's gonna go back to a regular USB, right? So let's go ahead and exit out of this. Do not save. Um, and look what we got. Kingston. And those are your documents from before. Now, like, oh, okay, this device, I mean, someone, something's up, they're gonna realize it. Not really, so right, watch this, right? Let's go look at device manager. It's going to disguise itself as a normal Kingston drive. Kingston Data Traveler, see? And we know that we swapped out the normal USB with this guy. And that's a scary scenario where you can't detect that this device is malicious and you have no idea that this happened to you. And now you're giving access to somebody anytime they want. And it's very, very, very hard. This is the last thing somebody's gonna think about that when it comes to our vulnerability on their computer. I mean, eventually maybe they could figure out what, what computer is causing the problem, but when it's you're, you're sending a payload now and then and disguising the, the device, it's hard to pick it up. Like it has to be something a little bit more consistent, but uh, you pretty much have access whenever you want to a system because of this scenario. So what's the what's, what do we learn from this? Never leave your computer unattended, right? Don't leave your stuff lying around. Take your, you know, hide your USBs, uh, don't lay them on your desk. Um, or you could be victim of this. It's very easy to swap it out. You saw me do it in this video. This was the original USB drive. That's a diabolic drive. Totally disguised. Inside and out. This is stealth security tech at its best. And uh, this is why this is a very scary and one of my favorite. This is the reason why this is one of my favorite tools I have. Is it really shows that safety is an illusion. That you should not leave anything unattended. You should need to be aware this stuff exists. Again... YouTube, this is me explaining the vulnerabilities. Please do not strike me. This is just me trying to teach and show the public what's actually out there. This is a very, very scary device. You could not tell that this thing is a malicious device. You just can't. There's no way you can. Please be careful when it comes to leaving your devices unattended. Do not leave your computer open when you have to go to the bathroom, please, or get up to go do something. Log out. Lock the computer. Be aware that there's tools out there that exist like this. A diabolic drive is one of the coolest bad USBs out there. It's the bad USB 4.0. I highly recommend picking up this device for ethical hacking and for security training and for just awareness to help spread awareness that this stuff exists. Uh, you can play around with payloads. Again, I do not condone anything illegal. So don't, I, I, this is just an educational video. Um, if I could send a Rick roll, what could you actually send to somebody? So there, there is, you can fill in the blanks. You can make assumptions for yourself how dangerous this can be. So again, I hope you guys have a good one. Remember, safety is an illusion, and I'll see you in the next video.